lobotomy. Like... Bazi lain omnal. Look, bazi gak ada lno, bazi saya gak ada lno. Mana nak cuci bridge? Ada lno. Oh, dah. Look. The kind of step. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing! Way Oh my God! I I don't believe this. If you got a video like this, I challenge that, bro. This 800 meters, nigga. That's like almost a kilometer drop, nigga. Yeah, it is. You can still kind of see the tracks up there, which brought down a bunch of gravel, rock, and smaller debris down into this river, overloading it and causing it to change from what was once a narrow, deep, and cool channel that salmon loved into this wide, shallow, sun-exposed, and warm river. So in order to help the channel return to a state that supports healthy salmon runs, there are many things that need to be done, and one of them is to rebuild and strengthen the riverbanks here, and a super useful restoration tool here are willow stakes. So willow stakes are chopped up limbs and branches of willow trees that in this case have been driven into the gravel here, so that during times of high flow, the water level rises and submerges these stakes, which collect flow floating leaf litter and a lawnfulness material that drops out of the water column and collects, forming the first little bit of soil here. Now willows are incredibly resilient trees that love water and are capable of vegetative regeneration, meaning that in the springtime they'll grow new leaf shoots and new roots which will go down into the rocks here, holding it all together as they grow, allowing for more soil to build up at the base and eventually there will be enough for salmonberry, thimbleberry and alders to take root, forming a healthy riparian area and stabilizing. So fun fact, these guys are called daddy long legs. Um, but they're not actually spiders. You'll notice on top right here, they have only two eyes instead of the like multiple eyes that spiders have. They're actually completely harmless and a really cool party trick is if you grab their back two legs at the same time, they kind of just splay out and they don't go anywhere. You ready? Yeah. See, can't really do much to me now. <laughs> There was a rumor going around for a little while that these guys had the most venomous bite in the world or whatever, but they can't actually pierce your skin. They are completely harmless, um, but they do this really terrifying thing uh, where they'll like all come together in a cave um, for protection and warmth, and then they all just start wiggling all at the same time, and it's terrifying. 